Welcome everybody to East Sister Rock Island. This is a private island that could be yours for $16.5 million. And today, we're gonna walk you all around the island and show you the actual houses that are on here. But just to give you a little background, the house right there, the main house is 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths with huge living spaces. And then you have the guest house and you obviously have a pool. And the island itself, is completely self-sustaining. You are off the grid. It's a private island away from the world, but very close to the world as well. We're gonna tell you how it's self-sustaining towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay till the end. But without further ado, let's get into the tour. There's two ways to get onto this island. You can get on via this helipad right here with your helicopter, or you can come the way that we did. So let's go back in time and show you how we got here. We're going to an island off of the Keys. It's insane. That is pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty sick. It's like, are there laws on that island? <laughs> Can you do like whatever you want on that island? That like what? Answer. What happens? What are you gonna do? How do they get water over there? Just around the level. What if there's a? Yeah, but you're not gonna drink salt water. What if there's a murder? All right, only you would think like that, you sicko. <laughs> So you saw how we got here on the boat from the mainland, all right? This is the actual dock right here. It's a 100-foot dock. This is the boat right here. It takes about five minutes to get from the mainland to the actual island, right? There's a little area over there that's deeded to this island where you could park your boat and you can have some things there as well. And when people come, that's where you pick them up. So obviously, you need to have some way to get from the mainland to the island, and that's the way you do it. Now. We're here on the island, we got here, 100 foot dock, you park your jet skis, your boats, your friends come over on their boats, and this is how they get on. Or if they have a helicopter, like we mentioned in the beginning, then they can come on the helicopter, right? So now we have a little bridge that we cross to get to the actual island. You see the barrier of rocks, that first barrier of rocks there, right? That stops the waves from crashing so close onto the island. But we're gonna get into all those details about the island and actually how it's self-sustainable when we talk to the owner's son at the end of the video, right? So come on with me. We're gonna walk through the outside first and then we'll take you inside. Then we'll show you and talk to you with the owner's son, right? So we walk down this path over here. You have a seating area and a pergola over here so you can hang out, relax with friends. Maybe you're just waiting here to see if somebody's coming or waiting for someone to come. This is maybe where you'll do that, right? You have the water views and you have water views from everywhere. That's what's the beauty of living on an island where you're surrounded by water. Right, so that way you can hang out on this hammock and just chill like this, or you can be more comfortable. I just gotta get up again and I don't wanna put my legs up and go through that heart, you know, that trouble, right? right. So let's go down that way, right? Uh, there is, as you can tell, there's a windmill there, but again, we're gonna get into those details of how there's electricity and water when we talk to the owner's side. So come down this way. We're gonna show you, that's the main house over there. We're gonna get into that later on in the video. But over here, we're gonna start here first with the pool, right? So you have a nice big pool over here. You notice you have some seating in the pool, like bar seating, so that way you can hang out, relax, have a party, and then you have your jacuzzi over on that end of the pool as well, right? But it's a nice big pool, and you look straight out to those ocean views. Unobstructed views, views for days, and nobody to see you in the pool. So, hypothetically speaking, you could wear whatever you want when you go into the pool. That's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna go into details, but whatever you want. George is raising his hand, but I'm not letting him answer. Anyways, over here, you have some lounging area, a lounging area so you can relax and enjoy the views. I mean, those views are unbelievable. And this is where the helicopter pad is, right? So you have a helipad, you have a helicopter, it comes and then you jump in the pool and then you can go on the boat. You can do whatever you want, right? So you got all this space over here. 
And then we can come down over here this way, right? Just to give you an idea of like what's around the actual property. And then we'll show you the guest house and the main house. So you have another little seating area over here, right? And this seating area here, you hear the waves crashing now. So it's very peaceful, right? When you're on the porch, you notice there's a porch around the entire house. We're gonna walk it in a minute. You have hammocks and seating areas. All on this side are my favorite because you hear those waves crashing. And there's nothing more peaceful to me than waves crashing. Come down this way. So here you get a glimpse of like just pure ocean. No neighbors, nothing, looking into your property. And then you can kind of get a sense of the retaining wall as well and the rocks that are protecting your property, right? So we'll walk down back this way again. We're gonna do a full circle around the island and then we'll take you inside. This is technically right here. This is your front door right here. This is technically your main entrance of the house. And then over here was the dock way back when. So this was the original dock. Obviously now it's not used as a dock because uh, obviously you can't put a boat in here, but it's pretty cool to see what was originally and what was the front door. Turn around and you can see. So your guests would come, they used to park their boats here and then they would come up these red stairs up to the door. I'm sure the door at one point was like a red door. That would have been a nice cool accent, but that might have been changed, who knows. So come on, let's come down, let's keep walking the property. Now, the house, the floor of the house, let's say, is about 15 feet from the water. So you're 15 feet above the water, uh, which is really nice, right? So you're over here, you're looking over these bushes and you're seeing just pure ocean. Now we're in Marathon, it's in the Florida Keys, right? Florida Keys is very no, is known for a lot of boaters. Boaters love the Keys and people from Miami love coming down here because it's just about a two hour drive from Miami to get here. So it's like a perfect weekend getaway. This is where all the electronics of the house are. Right, and this is the windmill you see above. So the house is powered basically by what we see right here. But again, I'm gonna let the owner's son describe that. Come down this way. If you notice, this looks familiar, right? Because now we're back to where we started. So now we're gonna show you inside the guest house, which is right there behind us, and then we'll show you in the main house. So let's go and check it out. entering the guest house. This guest house is awesome. It's a really nice size guest house. You walk in, you have your door there, obviously it's right off of the pool, but you have a kitchen over here. You have a gas cooktop, you have refrigerator, sink, all overlooking, of course, these water views, right? So it's a guest house with a family room, a kitchen, and a bedroom and a bathroom, all right? Uh, so over here, this is your living space. You have a mini split because that saves energy. And we're here, since we're self-sustainable, we have to save energy. So here you have your view. You're overlooking the front. This is the front looking at the dock, right? So here you're overlooking the water view of the dock, which is beautiful. Family room here, TV. You have basically storage up here for your fishing rods because if you're living here, you're fishing. That's a fact. And then over here, you actually have a bunk bed so you could sleep here and someone else can sleep up top. And then down over here, you have your bathroom. Really nice bathroom. I love how they have this. This is a really unique way of making it a door uh, and going into those island vibes, right? You have another door here that goes out to the side, uh, but this is the guest house here. So now let's show you the main house uh, where you're actually gonna be spending most of your time, shall we? And now it's time to show you where you're actually gonna sleep at night and spend a lot of your time, right? So come on, I'm gonna show you the main house here on the island, all right? You come here and you have an entire wraparound porch around the whole house. And from every angle of this porch, you're looking at ocean views and from every room inside, which we'll show you in a minute. But this is completely rare to find. An ocean view from every single corner, it's because you're on your own private island, right? So you're playing billiards, water view, you're hanging out with your friends over there in the corner. Ocean view, you're hanging out on the hammock. 
ocean view. Ocean views from everywhere. The porch is big. It's a nice place to hang out, rain or shine. That way you could be entertaining. But let's go inside. All right, this is inside the actual home. You'll notice you have pocket doors that go out to the porch from almost every angle and all of those give you the ocean view as well. It's a huge entertaining space over here. So it's a big, big space. You have your family where you watch TV, you have your bar, you have over there a game area and you have your dining with your kitchen over there as well, a nicely renovated kitchen. But before we go that way, over here you have your secondary bedrooms. So you have bedroom number one over here, which is a good sized bedroom with the high ceilings and reflective ceiling. And then you have bedroom number two over there, which is even bigger. And that has high ceilings with a reflective ceiling as well. And then over here, you have your full bathroom, which is for these two bedrooms. And it's also where the washer and dryer is. And this is your guest bath too. But if you notice, these two bedrooms, they have unobstructed ocean views, which is nearly impossible to find a house with ocean views from every angle. So over here, we have your kitchen, nicely renovated. Love that light fixture. You have granite countertops and backsplash over there with stainless steel appliances. And of course, it's right off the dining and you have the view of the ocean as well here. Views, views, views. Come over here. Down this way, you have your primary suite. I'm gonna show you because it's very, I think it's one of the more important bedrooms here, right? So it's a large bedroom over here, big room, seating area, king size bed, views of the ocean. As you wake up, you get the sun rises and that ocean view. And then over here, you have your bathroom. You have a double vanity over here with your shower and your water closet. And of course, it's all overlooking the water views. Look at that. Imagine taking a shower here and looking out and not even worried about anybody looking in because you're on your own private island away from the world, but yet pretty close to the world, right? So that's the inside of the home. I love how it's kind of been renovated and redone throughout the property, but I love how you have views like these every single room. Now we're gonna tell you how this uh, property is self-sustaining. We're gonna speak with the owner's son and we'll get into exactly how you're able to have water and all of the things needed to live on an island away from the world. Let's go and talk to you. I'm here, with, we're here with Wes right now, the owner's son. You basically, I mean, you're living here for right now, right? For now, uh, for the for month. For now, yeah. for the month. And you guys have owned the property for almost how long? 30 years. 30 years. Almost 30 years. 30 years. So yeah. you've been here for a while. Since you were basically a kid, I imagine. You've owned, you guys have owned the property. That's right. You've been coming and visiting, managing the property. So I'm sure a lot of people are curious. You know, this is off the grid, right? Completely it's off grid. Self sustainable. Self sustainable. Right? How is that possible? Like, how, let's start with water, right? How are you able to have water that you can shower with and drink from the property? Um, it started with my dad, of course. He's, you know, he's a genius in his own way. Uh, but when he, his dream when he purchased this place was to make itself sustainable, completely off grid in all aspects, uh, but mainly water and electricity. For the water, we catch all the rain, like a little rain catch system off the roof. You can see how the roof's kind of like a almost pyramid shape, and it flows. All of the water flows into the side gutters, which is all drained into a water system under the house, which is then filtered and pumped out through the house for, for consumption. And that is, uh, and we also have a desalinization plant, machine, whatever you want to call it, that can do up to convert 1,000 gallons a day, per 1,000 gallons every 24 hours. In terms of now, I guess, going to electricity, right? Yeah. So how do you get electricity on the island? The island. Well, the island's a, uh, has its own off-grid battery backup system. Okay. It's solar and wind powered. We have about 15 kW of solar power and about three and a half kW of wind power. That's what charges the batteries. And yeah, that's how we produce our power, solar and wind. So that's what that- That's the, that spinny thing up there, the turbine. Windmill, turbine, the right? Windmill, yep. Wind turbine? Wind turbine, yep. That's what that's for. That's what that's for, okay. exactly. Don't want to, don't love to talk the details about this, but in terms of waste, you know, where does the waste go? <laughs> the island has its own septic okay. and drain fields. Like any normal house that's not connected to, to the, the main city sewer. 
Great. Yeah, so that makes sense. In case our tank I know is, it's I know it's a crappy question, but you know, it is. <laughs> you know, stinky, stinky. <laughs> it's a stinky, it's a stinky question, but you know, I think it's something that people may be curious about, right? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and we also treat treat our septic tank to make sure it doesn't ever overfill. Yeah, yeah. I've heard. I know you had mentioned we won't make the na say any names, but you know, some celebrities who have inquired and stuff, and I'm sure it's because of the exclusion that you are it's like a private oasis and i know that was for your rental right you guys have it on a you, you do like weekly rentals in the property right that's right full-time um, short-term rental a uh, minimum of a week and max, there is no maximum you can stay as long as you want that's awesome and for people who want to stay here for a week we could put the website like right down here so you guys can have an idea maybe even inquire and see if you stay here for the week but i can tell you that in our short span here i loved it I do have one regret though, is wearing the suit, which there I won't know. do the next time. But <laughs> if he would allow us, and if you guys would like to see it, I think it would be very cool if we come back here and show like a nighttime, what, it, what's, what it's like to be here at night, right? Like enjoying this at night, seeing the sun set, seeing the sun rise. And then I'm sure, like you mentioned, there's a lot of activities, you could probably do kayaking, boating, you know, kite there's the surfing. beach that you mentioned over there, yeah, kite surfing. Yeah, Maybe you can teach me how to kite surf. I've never kite surfed before. Yeah, so yeah, that, that would actually be actually a, a hilarious video. Yeah, like to watch me get injured on video would be funny. Not injured. You watch you to <laughs> try to learn how to kite. Learn how to kite would be yes, fun. Yes, it yes. would be fun. But thank you for having us, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for I coming. I appreciate you taking the time. Pleasure, It's man. a beautiful property. Um, make sure you guys go down, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to stay here for a week, just go and check out that link in the description or down below. We'll see you guys in the next tour. Peace and love. Thanks for watching the tour. Since you're here, you might as well watch some other ones. Why don't you watch this one right here? Or, or maybe this one right here? <laughs> and while you're at it, why don't you just go subscribe as well? And if you're looking to buy a house in South Florida, just shoot me an email too. <laughs> we'll see you in the next tour.